Some big news I've been waiting to bring to all of you. I want to make sure I digested all the information, and we'll be having Jeremy Corbell here on the show in the next week or two to explain further, but I wanted to make sure that we brought it to you. So the Defense Department, let's put this up there on the screen, has confirmed a leak video of an unidentified aerial phenomena that they say is real. Now, this is a 2019 video. Let's put this up there on the screen. This video shows three triangle-shaped UFOs which were filmed from the deck of a U.S. Navy uh, of U.S. Navy craft, which was taken with cell phone video and was reported in 2019. And so what the Defense Department there has said in a statement to multiple news organizations said that, one, that these photos were real, that they were taken by Navy personnel. Quote, as we've said before, to maintain operations security and to avoid disclosing information that may be useful to potential adversaries, DOD does not discuss publicly the details of either the observations or the examinations of reported incursions into our training ranges or designated airspace, including those incursions initially designated as UAP, UAP being unidentified aerial phenomena. So, Ryan, just the latest things that we have seen um, in terms of the UFO sighting, but this one was particularly significant because it showed three craft flying somewhat in formation right over mm -hmm. this naval air base. And this is the same thing that has happened in multiple different instances of UFO sightings over other military sites, like nuclear sites are always reported as ones. What's happening? Nuclear submarines are another one where this has happened. I've even seen some speculation. I don't want to, you know, pour... I, 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 what I believe doesn't really matter. I saw an analysis in The Drive, which is a great publication, which tracks these things, where they said it could actually be proof that these are drones from a foreign enemy that are just mm. spying on U.S. military installations. But even if it is, I mean, somebody should get to the bottom of it. Yeah. And there's not a lot of inquiry. Basically, what happens is they resign it to, you know, these people are crackpots or something right. like that, when in reality, there's there's something very significant going on here, in my opinion. It, it seems like we're seeing a lot more of it lately. And I'm curious, fr from your perspective, who's been following this cell phone. for longer, think, yeah. it, it, you think phone. it is a cell phone. So you think the activity has actually been fairly constant over... Over, over how many years right. do you think? Probably uh, 68, yeah, when was it? 1947, so since 1947, really. Uh, and look. But now we're capturing it. Now we're capturing it. There's always been some photographic evidence, and there's been a lot of cover-ups in terms of what the government there has been saying. But one of the ones that I showed you, that I, the last time that you and I talked about UFOs, was that object, which was, again, captured with, and that's the other thing, is as high-def cameras began to mm -hmm. be get better, and you can snap a picture from a cockpit, the one leaked photo that came out showed that one object off in the side. Some people thought it was a balloon, but that I think that that explanation doesn't hold ground, as, as, at least from what I've seen. Allegedly, there's another photo inside the U.S. government, which is highly classified, which is just totally crazy. Much closer up, but that one hasn't leaked yet. DOD sources and others have confirmed it was real. It was made known to me that some of our coverage actually has been discussed in the DOD. That's all <laughs> I can really say about that. But people are paying attention um, as to what exactly is going on here. And I think this is probably the most significant confirmation of a real video incident since 2017 when they just straight up released the Tic Tac object in particular. So anyway, some really cool developments. Jeremy Corbell will be here on the show to explain a little bit more. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we will have more Rising for everybody right after this.